Hi, this is Ronan, and today the philosophical concept I want to talk about is called contractarianism. Contractarianism is an ethical philosophy which stems from Hobbes and his idea of the social contract, a metaphorical contract between two parties where both seek what is perceived to be the best possible situation for themselves. Hobbes believed that people primarily act in their own self-interest and will act morally only to further that self-interest. In order to avoid the judgment, wrath, and discipline of others, we act morally. We help others in order to elevate our social standings or lead to someone to have a higher opinion of us. We forge relationships out of an underlying self-interest, looking for ways the relationship can benefit us, whether it be entertainment, a feeling of purpose, or an emotional outlet. When two people can offer each other something that they want, a relationship is usually formed. This is the perfect representation of a social contract. Both parties agree to give up time, energy, and many other things in order to receive something that they deem worthy of that effort from the other party. When someone, ha when someone has failed to provide said time, energy, or whatever else is expected, they have defied their social contract, often ending in the termination of the relationship. On the other hand, when someone has begun to expect too much out of the other party, the other party might no longer deem what's expected of them worth maintaining the relationship, leading to its termination. And although it might be hard to think of all the relationships you've formed being out of self-interest, it's important to note that oftentimes, one of the things we yearn for in a relationship is an emotional connection. It's not all cold and clinical. You will oftentimes find yourself in relationships where the joy of the other person translates to you being feeling happy yourself which oftentimes leads to their joy being included in your own self-interest. To put it simply, them being happy leads to you feeling happy. We act in a way we feel will maximize our own happiness due to our self-interest. Therefore, we will oftentimes make the other person's happiness a priority due to that same self-interest. Personal relationships are not the only thing dictated by a social contract. A slightly less metaphorical social contract can be found between a society as a whole and the members that make up that society. Hobbes believed that as humans, we quite literally have the right to do whatever we are able to, whether that be stealing, assaulting, or even killing. But since we have that right, so does everyone else. People realize that if they agreed to give up certain rights, they wouldn't have to worry that their neighbor would kill them over a piece of bread. The members of society came to the rational conclusion that security and safety were more beneficial to them than the rights they had to give up. What we know today as laws are simply society enforcing this ancient social contract. If we are willing to submit to the rules put forth by society, then society is willing to provide you with comfort, security, safety, and many other benefits. Unfortunately, Members of society occasionally come to the conclusion that acting on their right to go against their fellow man provides more benefit to them than not doing so. When this occurs, the society that this person belongs to is justified to discipline this person how they see fit. For in a social contract, there are usually expectations for discipline if said contract is breached. In an ideal society, these disciplinary expectations are clearly stated. Therefore, if a person decides that their own self-interest dictates breaching a social contract, they understand the risk of being exposed and the intensity of discipline that they would receive. On the other hand, if a society as a whole, or more specifically, the governing body of said society, does not provide their citizens what's being expected of them in their social contract, over time the citizens will begin to feel that the benefits they receive are not worth what's being taken from them, which usually leads to a bloody change in leadership with either a new social contract or new ways to enforce the previous social contract. Overall, contractarianism is the ethical philosophy that states that morality is an extension of our self-interest. We act in a way that we feel benefits us the most. That usually involves giving up either our rights or our efforts to another party with the expectations that we will receive something in return that we deem worthy of our sacrifice.